Hi there, it's Ivan and you're watching Puzzle Guy channel. You're never gonna guess what I'm gonna do today. Today I'm gonna solve a puzzle. And today I'm gonna solve one Euro Labyrinth puzzle. It was designed by Robrecht. It is made of trespy, which is pressed wood material and acrylic. It has difficulty level 8 out of 10 and the object is to remove one Euro coin from the puzzle. And uh, as you can see, the coin is stuck in acrylic layer. You can move it from left to right and there is a cutout uh, in the top layer of the puzzle uh, where you can remove the coin. Also, there is a uh, small ball right here in the puzzle and uh, you can move it up and down and move it with the acrylic piece left and right. And as always, uh, all Robrecht puzzles are based on the uh, maze. So there is a uh, maze inside of this puzzle. As you can see, there is a part visible in this cutout but uh, then as I can imagine there is like a huge uh, labyrinth uh, in uh, all the uh, frames so we, uh, I have to move the ball through probably all the uh, labyrinths to be able to remove the coin so if you like uh, one euro labyrinth puzzle and you want to buy it I will put in a link in a video description as always and if you want to see my attempt to solve this puzzle keep watching the video so let's solve one Euro Labyrinth puzzle made by Robrecht. Let's take a closer look at it first. There is an acrylic part in the middle that slides from left to right. There is a small ball right here and it looks like it goes only up and down. And there is a labyrinth inside. Probably we can see only a part of it and the biggest part is going to be hidden below the top layer of the puzzle. And there is a coin which I have to remove and I can touch it here but I can't remove since there is not enough space here but if I move it about one centimeter to the right or something of an inch if you use imperial units uh, then I will be able to remove the coin. Okay, so solve the labyrinths. That is easy, I think. So let's start my timer first and let's see how hard can it be so what i see that it goes from left to the right there is no chance that i can move it to the left so probably there is no labyrinth there there is one way here okay let's try that it went up somewhere but i don't think that there is something that i can do there Okay, I think this is a dead end somewhere there, so I have to use some other way, maybe on the right. Okay, here the ball went up somewhere, and I can move it to the left a little bit. Okay, maybe, no, there is, this is a dead end as well, I think. Okay, let's try again, if I move it to the, all the way up to the left, and move somewhere else no I don't think there is a, any other ways there okay so this is the dead end okay and I don't see any options on the bottom so let's try to figure out if there are any other ways where you can move the ball okay there is something right here I don't know if you can see it, but I think that I can move the ball right there pretty easy. Okay, this goes here. Okay, it went up there. And it seems like I can move it. Oh, I can move it a lot. Oh, I can move it to the right. And here I can see the ball in this cutout. So what is next? And it looks like dead end. okay it looks like there is a oh no it is not a dead end uh, i've been able to move the coin to the right like half a centimeter and pro oh and now i think that the ball is somewhere right here since i've heard it just fell down let's try again yeah 
Oh, and it is right here now in this cutout. Okay. And there is no straight way from this place down there. So probably I'm on the right way to solve the puzzle. Oh, that's interesting. If I can remove the coin on this side, probably no, but at least that looks good. Okay, let's try. So I've been able to move it to the left. So probably if I tilt it, the ball will go somewhere up and it went like all the way up. Okay, have no idea what is happening inside now. But it looks like the ball is moving somewhere. But I have no idea where it is. It is probably somewhere on this spot, since there is a tunnel where it goes in acrylic layer, but what to do next, I have no idea. Oh, oh, that is interesting. The coin is almost out on this side. Okay, let's see what next. And now I don't hear the ball. That is the problem. I don't hear if I can move it somewhere. Oh no. Okay, now it fell down. Okay, there is a dead end somewhere on top there. Okay, and again, since I don't know what is happening inside, it's quite difficult to understand. So let's see, there is one, two, three, four, five rows and it's probably like one, two, four more rows hidden on this side. So probably that's how I can solve it to move through that rows. Okay. Yeah, it's not possible to remove the coin, but I ooh, ooh. okay. That was quite interesting. I've been able to remove it on this side. So this is a decoy and the only way to solve it is through removing it, removing it on left side. That is quite interesting. I don't, I don't really understand what has happened and probably I have to open the puzzle to understand how it works. And, but first I think that I have to, let's see, it was like five minutes. First I think that I have to move the ball all the way back where it was at the very beginning when I start solving the puzzle. So that I could say that the puzzle, the solution was complete. But that was really unexpected. I didn't know that it is possible to solve it this way. Okay, where, where is the ball? How to move it back where it, it belongs? Oh, okay. That's it. Okay, I've been able to remove the coin and to move the uh, ball all the way back to the starting position, but I have no idea what has happened inside. So. I think that I'm gonna take it apart. So wait a minute while I find tools. Okay, here is the tool that I can use to unscrew four bolts and I'm very interesting, interested in what is inside, how the labyrinths look and if my solution was correct, since it was completely unexpected that I can remove the coin in a different spot, not where it looks like supposed to be removed. Okay, now when all four bolts are unscrewed, let's take a closer look inside. And let's see. Yeah, Labyrinth is quite interesting. Oh, and that's interesting. There is another ball on top. 
but I don't I don't know what this ball is for. Let's try to follow the labyrinths when it's when it is opened and see how to solve the puzzle. So this goes up, then goes here all the way down. Here, here it goes up. I've lost one of the balls. Okay, come back. Okay, it's right here. Now it goes up. And all the way. Here. Ah, okay. So, what was the issue here is that I had to flip it upside down and then I can move it all the way up since the ball on top keeps uh, it stuck right here. Okay, that is a tricky puzzle. And now I have to put everything back. So that is the one euro labyrinth puzzle solved and kind of explained. At least I opened it to understand what has happened inside. And it took me 12 minutes. That was my attempt to solve one Euro Labyrinth puzzle and I really enjoyed solving this puzzle since, as you know, I uh, like maze-based puzzles and this one was really interesting because of uh, the completely unexpected solution. And since it was uh, so unexpected that I decided that it is kind of uh, cheating from the designer of the puzzle, so I decided to cheat as well and uh, took it apart to figure out uh, if my solution was correct since it was so unexpected and turns out that that was the correct solution and that is a really good puzzle. If you like one euro labyrinth puzzle and you want to buy it, as I told you, link in the video description and if you enjoyed watching my video, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time!